Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up an ARC wallet. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to choose the correct domain name, and I'll show you how to do this. In your browser, you're gonna go to coinmarketcap.com, and they have a search bar here where you could type in the name of any cryptocurrency project. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking for ARK, which is spelled A-R-K, and we're gonna go ahead and search that. We're gonna scroll down a little bit until we could see their website here, and we're gonna go ahead and click that. And it takes us to ARK.io. Go ahead and search that on your phone or desktop. Just make sure you don't misspell it and verify it's connected to a HTTPS website here and also verify it's secure by making sure it has a green padlock right here. And it does, so this is a good website. The other way to find their website is to go to their Twitter profile. So I'll take you there right now. Let's go back to CoinMarketCap under ARC and we're gonna scroll down to this tab right here, which says social, next to markets and charts. Click that, and we're gonna scroll down now because it starts showing us their tweets and their Twitter profile. So go ahead and click that, and it takes us to their Twitter. They have 64,000 followers, and the link that they're promoting in their bio is arc.io, which is the same website. So perfect. I'm gonna exit out of this along with this Twitter and I no longer need coin market cap. We're gonna move on to step number two, which is to choose the correct wallet. I'll show you how to do that on this website. What you're gonna do is go to the top right here where it says wallets. And as you can see, they have a desktop, Android, iOS, paper, and a web light wallet. And before we download any of these wallets, I do want to let you know that this ARC client is the main wallet, highly recommended for everyone to use, and it's being developed and maintained by the ARC core development team. So let's move on to step number three, which is to download the wallet now. And at this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you. I'll be choosing a Mac version. However, if you're using Windows or Linux, go ahead and choose that version. So I'm gonna go ahead and click wallets here and choose the desktop wallet. And it takes me to Arc's GitHub. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and it looks like their Mac OS version is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this DMG file. And what I'm gonna do here is on the bottom left, you'll start noticing how it's starting to download and I'm gonna go ahead and be patient for that. Feel free to pause the video now and continue playing it once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great. So it finally downloaded, which brings us to step number four, which is to install the wallet. So what I'm gonna do here is click this download on the bottom left and it's gonna start opening. And it's asking me to drag this into my applications folder. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna try opening it by double clicking on it. And it says, are you sure you wanna open? I'll say yes, open. So here it is. This is the Arc client. The first thing here is to create an account. So it says here in red, before proceeding, first back up the passphrase securely. This client does not store it and thus cannot recover your passphrase. If you lose it, delete it, or it gets stolen, we cannot help you recover it. There is no forgot my password option. So this is the passphrase right here. What you could do here is write it down, memorize it, and save it on your password manager. So once you store your passphrase, go ahead and click next here. And now it's testing me and it's saying please type in word three, six, and nine from your passphrase to validate the account creation. In this part of the video, you have to go reference your passphrase and go look for 
word three, word six, and word nine. So go ahead and give them the answers that they're looking for and then click create. And voila, this is a ARC client. As you can see here, this is my address and all you wanna do is copy and paste that. And you could send that address to anyone to send you ARC. And you could also send here, there's a send button so you could put in someone else's address. Then you could choose the amount of ARC you wanna send. You could choose an optional message. You're gonna to have to put in your passphrase and then click next to send it. And then you could also export your account right here. And in the settings here, it says there's a open in Explorer. You could remove this address or remove this account. You could put a label on it. You could register a delegate, you could put a timestamp on a document, and you could put a second passphrase. So that's cool. And on the left side here, there's contacts, so you could add contacts. And on the top here, it says switch network. So there's a dev net, which is dark, and a main net, which is arc. In the settings here, you could choose the currency that you're dealing with, depending on where you live. On the top right, there's a power down button, which says quit, restart, minimize, maximize, toggle full screen, and reset data. And that looks like about it for this wallet. In this video, I am not showing you how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it. However, there's one more step I wanna show you, which is step number five, and that's to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. I'm gonna drag my screen recorder to the top left here. And what I'm gonna do is click Arc Client here on the top, and I'm gonna say quit. And as you see, it disappears. So the way to confirm that it's actually disconnected is by going to your finder and then go to your devices here. And it says that our client is still connected. So I'm gonna have to click this eject button right here and it disappears again. And the way to reopen it is by going back to your finder, go to your applications, and then you're gonna want to find your ARC client here. You're gonna want to right click it and then click open. And it's saying, are you sure you wanna open it? click open and here it is once more this is my account right here next to this cloud looking icon and if I click on it it takes me to the home page of my client or my wallet so great you've officially downloaded and installed the art client and that concludes my video if you like watching blockchain tutorials like this get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint you can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint, and you can get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Check out the display address here, or check out the links below, and also follow our team on Twitter. My handle is Denny Lovejoy, and thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up an ARC wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, give me a comment below, or leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again, have a terrific day, and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.